Switch Pros underscore Calamity. Welcome to Switch Versus at the Lab. I'm Stu the Announcer, and we are getting set for our 4v4 Splatoon 2 tournament. This is our warm-up uh, for the Empire Splats back, which is coming up at 4.30. We are beginning our coverage for that at 4.15, but the battle itself is at 4.30, uh, resolving a scheduling conflict with Empire Arcadia. And uh, we certainly like to thank you for your patience, and we'd like to thank Empire Arcadia uh, for their patience as well as we got as we get that sorted out. So uh, just running through the teams here, we have four captains, Astro, Baki, Damu, and Muddy. Uh, surprisingly enough, uh, Raptura, who was one of the three unanimous selections, we had a random drawing as to who would be the, uh, the captains, and Muddy and Raptura wound up on the same team, uh, and they will be with Snorlax Guy and MC. They will be team number one here. And uh, we're going to cut to the screen here. They are playing team, it looks like Demu. Yeah, indeed. It's Demu Rakesh, the heavy splatling uh, specialist that we all that we all know. It's, uh, and also Lito Finito, another familiar, uh, another familiar face here at the laboratory. It's a short range specialist alongside Minty, who specializes in the splat charger. So as we get things sorted out here, we're going to figure out uh, whether or not these teams are uh, are ready yet. And uh, as for the other teams, I myself am in fact playing in this match. God help us all. And I'm going to be teamed up with Pixely, who I actually worked with a couple of times before. Pixely, a very good short-range player who also... Uh, I, I've seen him do quite a bit of work with the sploosh matic and end zap I mean, he just charges right in, guns blazing. He is certainly not afraid, and he's being teamed up with That So, who some of you might be familiar with him, an excellent mid-range player, competitive level, and uh, teamed up with another one of the unanimous picks for uh, teams bro for Team Bros Calamity, Astro. And the other team we will get to later on, but folks, coming up right now is game number one. Welcome to Splat Bro. Welcome to Switch Versus at the Lab. And this is Team Muddy versus Team Demu. And here we go. The box is locked. The lights are on. It's Splatoon 2 fighting time. As we get things started here, it's a heavy Splatling. Uh, here's Splat oh, yeah, no. Hero Splatling replica, excuse me. Along with the new Kensa Splatter Shot, the Light Tetra Duelies, and the Undercover Brella. And on the other side, we have a Splatter Shot Junior and Explosher. The Forge Splatter Shot Pro and the Custom Dually Squelchers. So, Muddy's team. And again, that's Muddy with the Splatter Shot Jr. We know him to be so effective with an incredibly aggressive frontline player. We once saw him get 31 kills in one matchup, and that was during a Rainmaker battle where he got two consecutive team kills as uh, another familiar face, T Turtle, wound up uh, taking, taking the Rainmaker to the house. And. Just one of the reasons why Muddy was one of the unanimous picks for the Bros Calamity Tournament. And Rakesh, we see him on the back line just trying to cover as much ink as he possibly can. It's a great defensive measure, but he has to retreat from that splat bomb. Well employed in that explosher. Definitely the uh, definitely the wild card here. It's a very, very high skill ceiling weapon. And we'll just have to see how uh, how his team employs that. But right now, MC and Snorlax guy holding uh, holding court here as Raptura with that explosion. We were so used to seeing him with that sloshing machine, but he's such an unconventional slosher player. I mean, it's just really a testament of skill just to how well he utilizes that weapon, which is otherwise so very difficult. And Demu, that uh, that will stop the count, but ultimately they take it back over. They're down to 10. They brought the count down to six remaining now. And it looks like it, they will take the victory, and indeed they will for game number one. And just like that, Team Muddy goes up 1-0, doing them dirty in splat zones. And that's a knockout here on Muscle Forge Fitness for the team of Muddy, Raptura, Snorlax Guy, and MC. You take a look at the stats. I mean, it says it all right there, Muddy rushing in. With those four splats, Lito Finito doing some good work with that new, that relatively new Kensa splatter shot. 
but ultimately it is uh, Team Muddy that goes up 1-0 here. And again, the Kensa weapons providing such an interesting, uh, an interesting new option for the. Uh, they provide an interesting new option for uh, for kills in in this meta. The the Kensa splatter shot, I believe, is the suction bomb and baller meta. No, no, no Tensa missiles is uh, for the splatter shot. I believe it's two that have the. The baller and two that have the Tenta missiles in terms of the Kenso weapons. And sometimes it can be hard to differentiate which one is which, but at the same time, uh, we are we're just getting used to it. It's a new meta, it's a new version uh, Splatoon 4.0. And uh, there's a whole lot of things to be learned, and frankly, it's one of the things that makes uh, Splatoon 2 great is the fact that it's always changing, it's always evolving, and the players change and evolve right along with it. So as we get Things set here as we get our connection issues resolved once again. Uh, this is our warm up for the exhibition with Empire Arcadia. We are seeing three players involved in this as uh, as we speak. It's going to be Damu, Running Muddy, and Raptura that are uh, that are involved in this uh, in the Bros Calamity v Empire Arcadia matchup. So they'll be there when the Empire splats back. The question is, will you? You'll have to tune in at 4:30. For the whole, uh, for the whole shebang between the side, uh, founded and really run by Triforce Johnson, official Nintendo ambassador and a uh, friend of the laboratory, we're proud to say. So, Triforce, if you're watching, certainly like to thank you for uh, for your collaboration, your cooperation in all of this, and uh, hopefully we have something special coming up for you all uh, in the coming days as. We have uh, conducted an interview with him, and we're actually trying to recover the file right now <laughs> after some uh, technical shenaniganry went down. We're just going to say shenaniganry is a word. Uh, yeah, no, absolutely. Um, t technical tomfoolery, if we're going with the alliteration. Uh, I'm a fan of alliteration. What can I say? You got to be in this business. So as we, uh, as we get set with the – okay, it looks like we're ready to go on the screen. Um it's just a matter of whether or not everyone else is as they get their main set up. And it looks like... I, I can only imagine Rakesh is going to stick with that heavy splatling. And Lito Finito, we we know how he usually is. He kind of likes to rush in with that splash o uh, Prefers the neo splash o more than anything else. But uh, Raptura, having recently picked up the Explosher, and uh, usually we've seen him... We've seen him hold court and do quite well with the uh, with the sloshing machine, but uh, the explosher, his preferred method of combat, at least in splat zones, we'll have to see what it, uh, what he goes with now as we go to Schellendorf Institute for Clam Blitz, where I can only imagine the explosher would also be quite effective, and uh, he could go either front line or back line with that explosher. But again, it's a uh, it's a weapon that requires quite a high skill ceiling and. There are few players in the Philadelphia area that are quite as skilled as Raptura. Of course, Muddy could give him a run for his money. And Raptura, well, finally, we are going to get ready as we head to game number two. As we uh, crank up the sounds, crank up the tunes, and crank it into high gear. The squid in the back said everyone attack, and it turned into a clam blitz. Is Team Muddy going with the Range Blaster? Interesting stuff. And that is going to be Team Muddy's side. Indeed, Raptura does go for that Neo Sloshing Machine. The Neo Sloshing Machine, of all things. Alongside the Neo splash matic the Ink Brush Neve, and again, that Range Blaster that we saw Muddy take out 31 people with in one game in Rainmaker. I believe Raptura was on the other side of that, uh, of that particular beatdown as well, so... He certainly prefers to be on Muddy's team with that, but opposing Muddy and Rapture this time around are his, uh, is Demu's side. And just like that, Muddy's team uh, breaks the barrier, and Lito Finito and company are going to have to play some defense. They'll be doing that with a mini splat lane, an Aerospray RG, a Neo Splash Matic of their own, again with Lito Finito, and the Octobrush. And that's Lito Finito trying to trying to rush things in, but I mean Muddy doing that cleanup work with the range blaster. Oh, but he misses one. 
through the side and Rakesh just sneaking in. And uh, turns out he's not going with the with the heavy that time. He was, I think he's playing, uh, is he playing the mini splatling? Interesting stuff. All right, so going with the more mobile option. It does make sense. I mean, Clan Blitz, you kind of need to be, uh, kind of need to be on your feet and moving around. Uh, heavy splatling, not really the most mobile weapon in the world, so he goes mini. For Clan Blitz and Muddy, oh my gosh! The flank from the side. That was filthy from Muddy. And he has an Ink Storm ready to go, trying to dirty things up just a little bit more. As he tries to charge in, he rushes right into the base. No fear in his heart, but yeah, you know what? You kind of have to respect that, although it does distract Demu just enough for his side to get some clams in. And eventually, uh, he breaks the barrier, and he does get a clam in for good measure. And they're getting even more in now as Raptura and company are just being a thorn in the side of Demu's side. And just like that, they drive the score down to 46 counts remaining. So we have a 54 to 19 score on the field in favor of Team Muddy. And now Luda Finito with the special. Trying to use those uh, those bombs as well as he possibly can. And it gives him a little bit of space, but not enough to close down. They're holding court pretty well in the back. MC and Raptura making sure that they don't get scored on. Meanwhile, their teammates up front, Muddy et al, charge in. Guns blazing, or blasters blazing, I should say. And get another kill. And just like, oh my gosh, again. They're just piling up the score right here. And... They have not gotten anyone else back on the back line, and just like that, I mean, we're trying to explain. They just went ahead, would not relent, and as soon as they broke that barrier for the final time, driving the score down all the way from 46 counts remaining until there were none, and that's going to be two consecutive knockout victories for Team Muddy and Raptura, the star of the team that time. He got nine kills in that matchup. Rakesh, uh, again, with the mobile splatling work, did what he possibly could, but one has to wonder if maybe he should have played backline a little bit more. And uh, he did get six kills for his trouble, but at the same time, uh, maybe could have used that goalie-like uh, that goalie -like presence in Clam Blitz. You are protected in goal. And uh, ultimately, it was uh, Muddy's team outmaneuvering the, uh, the boys of Demu in game number two. So... Uh, the host is setting up. It looks like it's going to be tower control for game number three. We will we will determine the map, and uh, as we get things set here once again, uh, it's a decent little warm up for these uh, for these teams as we are going to Starfish Main Stage, the newly remodeled Starfish Main Stage. At that, it's uh, definitely one of the more interesting maps in the game. Always has been, but now hey, it happens, folks. Yeah, no, it turns out my peanut chews got a bit muddy as well. But at the same time, uh, Starfish Main Stage has always been an interesting matchup. It's always been one of the more open ones. You always kind of rush in, and uh, it's really easy to retake, usually in Splat Zones. But again, this is a new Starfish uh, Main Stage. And we'll have to see which team takes the Main Stage here as we are going to Tower Control. One of these teams is looking to ride the Tower to victory. Other is uh, just looking to avoid the loss, and... We have to see. Hopefully, Demu's team can avoid that negative mindset. As uh, again, both teams relatively decent at tower control. I mean, obviously, Muddy and Rapture are rank X and everything. Demu, uh, pretty good at it as well. But you got to think that Rakesh is the wild card in this one. With that heavy splatling, he could be a presence, raining death from above, with those splatling bullets. As we get said. Uh, MC taking his time with his weapon selection uh, usually does prefer the Dually Squelchers, which again, not a bad choice. Not a bad choice, uh, generally speaking. And uh, I'd, another uh, another Dually Squelcher man here is uh, Jay Moosh, the proprietor of the laboratory, who so eloquently typed in Dually Squelcher. Yeah, sorry about that. Yeah, no. Yeah, you. If you saw our notes, folks, it would be absolutely amazing. It's like it's like he took his face and rolled it across the keyboard. Quite honestly, 
and we're going to have to see if Muddy's team can roll their way to victory here at game number three. It's time to ride the tower. And Rakesh with that heavy splat lane as expected alongside the Splatter Shot Jr., Custom Dually Squelchers, and the Explosher. So interesting. And that's Minty playing the Explosher and gets the kill on Muddy, who's playing that Range Blaster. And that is the, exactly the advantage that they could have needed. But Raptura playing the sloshing machine that he so well knows and getting the kill on Lito Finito does well to get out of the way. But again, it's Raptura now employing the Stingray. Yeah, no, it's Tower Control. Welcome to Stingray City. And he's uh, playing alongside the Custom Dually Squelchers and the Neo Splash Omatic. And of course, that Range Blaster of Muddy's. I mean, he's a threat from near and afar. The question is, can he bring it home for his team with the 3-0 sweep? Or will uh, will Minty and company have something to say about it? Minty, again, with that Explosher. Uh, decent idea. Oh, my gosh. Got the kill on Muddy. And he's looking for another one here as uh, that, uh, that push is halted. That push of Muddy's team. Raptura. He's going to have to retreat here. Again, the sloshing machine, a decent mid-range weapon. As they're just trying to retake the tower. And eventually they do uh they do get possession back. However, they're not uh they're not riding it. The tower is back to neutral. Demu gets taken out by Raptura. Great usage of the sub weapon. And it is three 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 on the field now as uh as Splattershot Jr. is now back in play. And Rakesh right now, he needs to find some higher ground, but he's getting chased away rather efficiently. And that seems to be the key of this match thus far. They're not giving that heavy splatling any room to work with, although having MC taken out is certainly not going to hurt. They really do need to give a lot of room to that heavy splatling if they want any chance of victory. They need that pressure on the tower. And here comes the Stingray. They need to just push them off the tower right now. It's already been uh, taken down to 43 counts left. So a 57-6 score right now in favor of Team Muddy. And it looks like it's going. To, that gap is going to be widened even further. But, oh, just like that, they get pushed off the tower. But they take it right back. And see, that's the thing, man. You can't really ever count out, uh, count out Team Muddy. And Team Demu is making a valiant effort, but there's only so much that you can do. And Demu was trying everything he possibly could. And Rakesh gets splatted, so that's even more pressure that, again, it's uh, Team Demu is going to have to find somewhere. They widen the gap to 25 counts remaining, so a 75-6 to six score in favor of Team Muddy. They're just not relenting at all. And really, they're charging the tower with no fear at all. And the thing is, is that Team Demu is giving them a whole lot to respect. They are getting those splats, but they just do not relent. They are applying the pressure to the tower. They're not getting team wipes is the problem. And really, when you're uh, facing such aggressive waves like uh, Team Muddy is providing, and finally that, uh, oh, the Stingray did not quite do the job for Raptura, and he gets splatted for his troubles, Muddy coming back to spawn and it seems like finally the pressure was alleviated it's 4-3 on the field and if they're going to make a push they're going to have to do it very very soon there's only 75 seconds remaining in this matchup so a 3-0 sweep and very real possibility two splats right on the field and Muddy got taken out by that bubble blower looking for another one was Lito Finito not quite finding it but Rapturo was taken out of the action temporarily is 3-2 on the field Lito, Finito, et al. are trying to get back onto the board. But, oh my gosh, Muddy and Minty! Wow! I mean, Muddy, so on point with that Range Blaster. A direct hit. And he has victory in his sights as they're looking for the 3-0 sweep. Can Raptura seal the deal here? And just as the Ink Armor gets deployed, Raptura meets him with a thunderous sloshing machine direct hit. And now they have 13 counts remaining. It is 87 to 15 on the field. And 17 seconds remaining. 4-4 on the field for each team. But Demu, they need to get some splats and make a push now. They need to figure out exactly where Muddy is. He's so dangerous from distance. Snorlax guy is out. 
4-3 on the field, but they need to stay on the tower. They lost control. Rakesh jumps on, and we are into overtime, but here comes the Stingray. This looks to seal the deal, and that is, in fact, going to be it. There is only so much you can do against a last-minute Stingray, and Raptura, he was saving it up for a rainy day, and he just took them to the bank and took them to a 3-0 victory. So Team Muddy will win 3-0, and uh, Raptura, Muddy, Snorlax Guy, and MC doing some great work. A combined 20, 33 kills for Raptura and Muddy. And uh, that is going to do it for that particular matchup.